Well, hi everyone. Welcome to the studio. My name is David Kessler, and today we're going to look at uh, matting and framing some small paintings on paper. Uh, I've got these 10 by 10 paintings. I do a lot of these for uh, sales in my workshop, and I'm also selling these at my open studio event this year. And I'm going to mat and frame each one of these, and I want to show you how I'm going to do that. Uh, I get these mats. People always ask me, do you cut your own mats? No. I get these mats from, uh, you can get them from many, many online retailers. I get mine from Matt Board and more. So the ones I'm going to use today, uh, these are 10 by 10 acrylic. Whoops, better turn it the right way. 10 by 10 acrylic on gessoed watercolor paper. Really simple little paintings. Uh, I've got a, uh, a little bit less than a 9, uh, 10 by 10 opening. This is matted to 16 by 20 inches. Uh, and I have a simple black frame I'm going to put around each one of these. Uh, typically, the black, these frames uh, you can use if you, if you mat to a standard size. You typically can buy a frame at your big box retailer uh, on sale, and that's what I did uh, for uh, you know, about $20, which is a really good price. I get these mat cuts so that this is 10 by 10. It's weighted at the bottom, uh, equal on the sides, and the top makes a very nice presentation very simple mat. So the other thing you're going to need, you're going to need the mat, your painting of course, and some uh, framers tape. This is a cloth framers tape. You can get it any uh, online retailer or big box retailer. So I'm just going to lay the painting uh, in here, try to center it up, kind of look at it to make sure it's going to look right. Get a piece of the cloth tape. This is really simple. You just take this tape I'm going to need to cut it because it's pretty thick. And you put it on here to make a hinge connection. I just lay it at the top. Make sure it's attached well to the painting and the mat. They call it a hinge because it, look, it acts like a hinge, right? So now you have a painting and a beautiful mat. And I have a, and a piece of board. Also, when you order your mats, you get a piece of backing board. And they also will provide you with some bags if you need the clear bags, which I typically use for my studio paintings. I mean, my workshop paintings. All right, now we have our frame here. I've already cleaned the glass on both sides, put the glass back into the frame. Uh, I've got my painting matted with the backboard. And I've made sure this is clean, the glass is clean. I'm just going to lay this right in here. Get the backing for the painting. And voila, there you have it. A uh, beautiful painting. Very simple 10 by 10. Look how nice that matte is, really sets off the painting. I always use for matte color Arctic White, which is a crescent board color. That's just my standard color. I love this beautiful, modern, thin uh, black frame uh, with the glass on it as opposed to acetate. The glass is much better. And I think I paid about $20 for the frame on sale at a big box retailer. All I have to do is put the hanger on the back I'm ready to go. All right, this is easy. This is stuff you can do in your, in your studio. Save yourself some money. Frame your own stuff. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.